or things that are of concern to you and to the U.S. military are, are blowing up. Could you give us a brief big picture of how dangerous you think this time of history is? Is, this, is it chronic annoyance or is it actual danger? And when will the United States see some end to these wars, especially the now 13-year war in Iraq, Afghanistan? Jim, I think um, we are living through uh, one of these historic defining times. I think we are seeing a new world order, uh, post-World War II, post-Soviet Union implosion, uh, being built. Um, many questions about, first, among the American people and, and uh, our leaders, what's the role of America uh, in this new world that is evolving? Uh, should we have a role? Uh, what is appropriate? Each one of these issues, regardless of where they are, uh, affects us now, will continue to affect us uh, into the future. Uh, I've said, Chairman Dempsey said, President Obama has said, Secretary Kerry, others, that uh, what we're seeing in the Middle East with ISIS, mm -hmm. ISIL, uh, is going to require uh, a steady, long-term uh, effort. It's going to require coalitions of common interests, which we are forming. We have more than 60 countries now uh, with us to deal with this. Uh, this is an ideology. This is a dynamic that in, in total we've never quite seen. And then you look at all the other dimensions, the rise of China, uh, Russia, what uh, Russia has been doing the last uh, six months, a pandemic disease, Ebola being uh, an example, budget uh, issues. We've got a Congress that can't work together. If we're not paying a price today, we will pay a big price tomorrow. Russia has successfully test-fired a new intercontinental ballistic missile. The Defense Ministry said that their Yuri Dolgoruki nuclear submarine launched the missile from an underwater position towards a testing range in the far east of the country. An unusual amount of activity from Russian planes today. NATO says it's tracked eight Russian aircraft over the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. What is going on here over the skies of Europe? It's quite a busy day. Very unusual to see this much activity on the part of the Russian Air Force. Denmark, Germany, Norway, Portugal, Turkey and the UK, plus neutral Finland and Sweden remain on high alert after four probes into their airspace this week. The latest aerial maneuvers by Russia comes after suspicious sub-aqua operations off the coast of Sweden. Thanks for joining us today. At least four soldiers have died in clashes in the Lebanese city of Tripoli, where the army is battling Sunni militants. Thousands of Islamic State fighters and other jihadists are reportedly massing on the border right now with Lebanon near the city of Arsal. There are concerns they're about to launch an onslaught against the Christian population in the region. Violent clashes broke out in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, after a second day of protests denouncing the president's plan to seek re-election. A somewhat surprising theological statement from the head of the Catholic Church to report on. It now appears Pope Francis is open to the theories of evolution and the Big Bang. He told a Vatican audience that neither idea conflicts with the idea of creation. He also said, quote, God is not a magician with a magic wand. It's hard to call Elon Musk a technophobe. There's one bit of future tech Musk isn't so keen on, artificial intelligence. And during a recent MIT Aerospace Symposium, Musk issued a grave warning about the potential dangers of AI research. With artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. An Oklahoma man is blaming the devil for making him crash his car into a controversial monument. The Ten Commandments monument on the grounds of the state capitol.
A woman decapitated, her body thrown into a quiet street on Long Island. Police say by her own son. The residents say they thought it was a Halloween prank at first. A decapitated body lying in the street outside an apartment building in New York. But now police say this was definitely for real. Rain washed the bloodstained street in Farmingdale where a horror unfolded last night in front of stunned neighbors. I'm horrified that I actually was standing right in the car, saw a head, saw a body, dismissed it as a Halloween prank. It was no prank. Nassau police say the severed head and body were that of 66-year-old Patricia Ward, decapitated by her 35-year-old son. After killing her in the apartment they shared, police say Derek Ward dragged her downstairs through the lobby, then to Secatoc Avenue. A half an hour later, committing suicide, throwing himself in front of a movie Long Island Railroad train. A manhunt is underway this morning in Washington, D.C. after another axe attack on police. The officer was injured while trying to disarm a man with an axe. He was not hit with the weapon. Sources tell our affiliate WUSA that the man used an axe to hit the window of the officer's cruiser while he was inside. This comes on the heels of a hatchet attack in New York City last week that wounded two cops. And right now at 6, new information about the murder of Jacob Crockett in Stillwater. Police say he was nearly beheaded. A 21-year-old Stillwater man is accused of using a large machete-like sword to kill one of his so-called friends. The probable cause statement says Marin's own brother watched in shock as he pulled a sword during a card game. Coherent. Um... Certainly, some of the statements he made were disturbing. Police say Marin called 911 shortly after. Police say he nearly decapitated 19-year-old Jacob Crockett. This is a surveillance photo of a blood-covered Isaiah Marin as he walked, sword in hand, through a nearby car dealer parking lot. He kept quoting Bible verses to me. And Triana Wright says she talked to Isaiah Marin. The witness says she watched the suspect walk through the parking lot with his machete onto Highway 51 until he was intercepted by police. It may sound like a Halloween prank, but police in Stanford are investigating after the discovery of two human skulls. And that's not all police say they found at the Stanford Refuge Transfer Station. Take a look. They also found a jawbone and several books on Satan and witchcraft. They say an employee at the station found the skulls while sifting through garbage yesterday afternoon. The area was closed off in order to investigate. A new emergency vehicle like nothing seen before in Orange County will soon hit the streets. At 48,000 pounds, the armored vehicle is designed to help the SWAT unit during emergencies. Chief Deputy Clint Hodgkinson is stepping into something new, Orange County's first armored vehicle. Ready? Free of charge from the Department of Defense and already stripped of the military equipment used overseas. When you train a police officer to use military style weapon from the battlefield, how are you changing that officer's uh, you know, psychological sense of what his duty is? It's sort of soldierizing, if I may coin a phrase. Stay inside. Hey, go inside. You're going to be arrested for interfering. You understand? No, I can be out here. You're interfering right now. You're no, I'm, 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 it's not past curfew. This is the police. We're serving a search warrant. I can't see nothing. 1825 Northeast 23rd Street. Go inside right now. We're Anyone inside that location? Lawful order. Stay where you okay. are. No, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm fine. Inside right now. I have no weapons. I'm fine. Do not go. Okay. I'm, hey, this is my place. Yeah. Go. All neighbors stay stay inside and away from windows. Hey, this is on iCloud. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. You're interested. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. We are living through uh, one of these historic defining times. I think we are seeing a new world order.